Hello everyone, welcome back to another Black Country Homebrew video. In today's video we're going to be doing a tasting of my Hefeweizen which I brewed on my Brewzilla Gen 4. For those of you who haven't seen the video, I shall put the link up here. It was a shocking brew day, so I haven't tried this beer. The only thing I've done is I've just pulled off a small amount from the keg, um, which is the first pull off the keg. So. Looks good, but I, I want to see how it tries, to be honest, so I haven't got high hopes for it in any way, shape or form. I overshot temperatures during the mash, I wasn't recirculating during the mash when increasing the temperatures. Just a lot of things went wrong. It was my first time using the Brewzilla, so we'll have to see how it goes. Since then, I have done other brews and they've turned out alright. So a little bit about the fermentation. Fermentation was done within a week and it's been sat in the keg now for just shy of two weeks. I haven't got any space in my fridge at the moment because I've currently got my Brew Bros kit that I did um, fermenting in there at uh, fermentation temperature so it hasn't had time to cold crash but I know with Hefeweizens they're meant to be quite cloudy anyway so. So I've got the keg here, got it on the tap. Sorry, got a glass here, got the keg here on tap, let's give it a pull. So there we go, it's not really the uh, correct glass for a Hefeweizen but there's your close-up, as you can see, hazy, nice and orange, it smells good, I could smell it when it was coming out to be fair, so yeah, it smells like a Hefeweizen to be honest, so it's got that flowery, kind of spicy aroma to it, this was a kit that I got from um, the malt miller, it was a community recipe, 10 litres, so it could go in my 10 litre keg. Nice. As you can see, it's not much of a head on it. Tiny little white fluffy head. Has been carved about 8 psi whilst it's been in the keg conditioning. Let's get into the taste, cheers. I'm actually really surprised with how that's turned out. So as I say, a lot of things went wrong with this brew day, but that's actually made a pretty decent beer. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got the spiciness, florally, that's what I'm mainly getting from it, smell and taste. that Hefeweizen should have. Still tastes quite yeasty. I don't know if it needs more conditioning time. I've read a few things online and people say that Hefeweizens are good when they're young. And some people say give them a bit of time, but no, it's turned out nice. Percentage wise, it's not a high percentage. I think it's 2.7-ish percent. Um, as I say, I undershot the gravity quite significantly, but I am actually really, really pleased with how that's turned out, considering the mess of the, of the brew day. It's a pretty stunning pipe, looks-wise. Yeah, if you've, if you've ever had Hefeweizen, you'll know what taste I'm explaining. It's just florally and got that spiciness of a Hefeweizen. So quite a washable beer, being a low ABV, so no doubt this keg will be gone in a few weeks. Maybe less than that, but it could do with being a bit cooler. As I say, it's, it's not really cold at all. It's just been sat in my garage. 
uh, because I haven't got space in my fridge at the moment, but dead please. Genuinely, from what a mess up that brew day was, that's turned out to be a good beer. It just shows if you do ever mess up your brew days, then just roll with it, get it fermented. It could actually turn out to be a very good beer. There's no point in just throwing it. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about that beer. It's turned out really nice. Effervisens, there's not really, you know, a lot of hops in there or craziness going on, smell and aromas and taste. It just tastes like a good, decent Effervisen with a hint of yeast, which needs to die down and probably will once condition. If the first time you watch any of my videos, thank you very much for tuning in. I've got an array of brew days and tasting videos on my YouTube that I'm going to keep growing over the future so if you do feel like subscribing then please subscribe if you are a returning um, viewer then thank you very much for tuning in again cheers